Okay, this is my second attempt at doing a review of the ham clock, which appeared in the October 2017 issue of QST. And that gentleman right there, WB0OEW, is the one that developed this amazing ham clock, although anybody interested in uh, looking at the world and uh, latitude, longitudes, directions, whatever, uh, could benefit from it. So this is one that I made up for a friend, and I'm not going to go into any detail whatsoever about all of the functionality. Instead, I'm going to uh, post a picture that uh, Elwood sent me yesterday that describes all the features. But what I am going to do is show you all, everything that's involved with it. Uh, this is the 9-inch version. It does not require a device driver like the 6-inch version, which is described in the article. Uh, this is a temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure sensor which is strictly optional. And when I ordered mine, I got it without the header pins. Normally these have header pins. And uh, my preference was to go with the holes rather than the header pins. Oops. <laughs> Still works. And oh, uh, one thing you should do is Get you a uh, touchscreen pin. It works so much better. This is for capacitive type of touchscreens. This is, is for resistive. This is a resistive uh, ham clock and re resistive touchscreen. So if I touch there, uh, then it gives me all the information there about where I just touched. And so you can see that by, you know, real precise uh, touching on the screen, you can, you can change the information. Okay, so this is where you can get all the information. If I can get it to display, there we go. Okay, so this is where you can get more information. And I highly recommend going to that web page, pulling up the article and reading it. And he even provides all of the source code, so you can either upload it yourself or in this case, and I recommend is buying it from him. And he doesn't charge very much for it. In fact, I think he's just pretty much breaking even on it. But uh, if you're not experienced in programming and using the Arduino IDE, just buy the, the processor pre-programmed. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Everything you need to know is right there on that web page.